from the Kachi Fachi. <laughs> <laughs> so the terrible camera work is my wife. Jordan and I have switched places only briefly. No worries. My name is Jared. You don't normally see me because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so we're switched because I'm going to learn how to sew a face mask for my beard. <laughs> because... You have to do special things or shave, and I'm not shaving, so we're going to make a special mask for me, and I am going to fumble this terribly. Here we go. Okay. We're going to play the game of what is this. What does my husband know? Here we go. We've got fancy ass iron. We have our material. Your fabric is going to change from person to person depending how large your beard is, so just have some on hand. I'm sure you do anyways. I thought for sure you were going to say your fabric's going to pale in comparison to mine. Yeah, you're also not going to get something this cool. This is glow-in-the-dark anatomically correct bones. We also have a, a seam ripper. We have a video on that if you want to check that out. We have snips which are used for different purposes than scissors. I highly recommend getting quality both. We also have a video on <coughs> rotary cutters. This is Jordan's favorite. I also love these. They have the different kind of guards on there. But we have a video on this. <laughs> Get this way. You'll figure it out. <laughs> so I'm currently winning this game right now. Okay. So, now what's that called since we're playing this game? <laughs> this is a gimbal. Okay, cool. So, rotary cutters. Uh, this is a one of our favorite brands, uh, Ulfa. It's pretty freaking sweet. Um, we have a video on rotary cutters as well. You should check that out. This is a pressing surface. It is pretty fancy. Um, you can get this stuff custom cut or... Uh, you can just have an iron or something. We have a cutting mat station that is the rest of this surface um, that we have just a cutting surface on top of. Also, you'll need some sort of a nose bridge. These are paper... No, 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 paper fasteners. Paper fasteners. Um, they're pretty flexible, so they make good nose bridges. If you don't have this, some alternatives are wire twist, tie. twist ties and all sorts of crazy stuff. We've got other videos on how to make different versions of face masks, so if you don't have this or if you get lost in anything we're talking about, definitely go and check those out. We're gonna be glossing over a lot of the common stuff just so we're, we can kinda of keep this video short because we're gonna be filling it with our BS this whole time. Also, if we're using a cutting mat and rotary cutter, you'll need some sort of a ruler to make a straight line. Did I do it? Oh, ties. ties. This is this fancy stuff. I it's say just fancy. Tie. This is a tie. Yeah. You yeah. can use whatever you have. If you want to make your own ties or elastic or whatever, use a tie. It's about 30 inches and two of them. And thread and sewing machine. Oh, thread sewing machine. Also, you need a tape measure to see how long your face hair is. Yay, hey, good job. Hey so the first thing we're going to do... You have to talk loud. The first thing we're going to do <laughs> is measure the width of his beard. And this is partly just for my own entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to make sure it's wide enough, too. So, so we've what, got... An, explain why this is needing to be different, because the whole CDC thing, you know. I didn't just explain Just interrupt me while I'm talking. How about that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, his beard prevents a good seal with a regular mask. So let's say he were to attempt to put a mask on. <laughs> it's going to go about like that. And it's just going to keep pushing it up because there's a lot of mass here. And I don't know. We honestly haven't even tried. I don't let him go out in the public for reasons that you've probably just seen. I'm in quarantine. Somebody's not considered essential. I mean, <laughs> if you thought that was comfortable, no. I mean, you could walk around like that. But I don't think many people will. No, and it's also not safe because... Yeah, it's going to let a bunch of stuff get in there. 
That's as thick said. as it, <laughs> as thick it as is. <laughs> Yeah, it's not so very helpful. We're going to make a mask that comes all the way around and underneath also. <laughs> I can't do anything about it fogging your glasses. You're just kind of stuck there. So, so that's why people have been told to shave or to stay inside. Yeah. I mean, we're staying inside, but you do need groceries. Okay. So I need groceries. You don't? <laughs> no. No, right now I have my yogurt and pickles. Thank you very much. <laughs> If you saw that mask, there was definitely a lot of hair sticking out on the sides here, so we'll tame it back down a little. But we're looking at about nine inches width, and then what we want to measure is from the tip of the nose all the way underneath the beard. So that is 14 inches. So we're going to take, and the width will remain the same, but we do need to double that length because we are folding the fabric in half or you can cut two nine by 14 inch pieces. So we're actually gonna do nine and a half. Mm. That's how you're gonna get your measurements, guys. Step one, done. Right. It's asking me if I'm having difficulty shooting. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, the first thing we need to do is what now? You're gonna measure the dimension of your fabric. Okay. We may need to either put a different lining fabric or just slightly change the dimensions. Why don't you start at zero, babe? Zero? Yeah. There you go. Where were we? So, we don't have enough of this main fabric to be uh, using it for everything, so we're going to line it with this. Hopefully that's not more complicated. Line up where at least one edge is square. You got you to show you, your camera, man. You got to show what you're talking about. The fabric that has the straightest edge lined up with the straightest edge of your second fabric. Okay. So that's not a straight edge. It's a folded edge on an underneath one. You know how you like to pee on things. <laughs> okay. Now what? So now you're going to line those straight edges up with the zero line on your cutting mat. So now you're going to measure from that straight edge, you're going to measure nine and a half inches over and cut. Cervical vertebrae. So you need to go the length of your fabric, yep, and, and you need to move it where? Inch, nine inches. You want to cut it nine and a half, actually. Nine and a half because seam You want to seam all knots, yes. Okay, and this has sticky parts on it. I have grips on my ruler, yes. I'm really trying with this camera thing. Okay, I'm so, so sorry if you get nauseous by the end of this video. Let us know in the comments who's doing a worse job. <laughs> Me sewing or her doing camera operating. So this is not, well, we, we don't need this right now. Correct. Okay. We're, we won't need that at all for the remainder of this. Okay. So this is uh, my nine and now I need to cut yes. 14. So start by kind of pulling one of those to the opposite end. You want to line up um, a short end now. Teamwork, guys. You could press your fabrics. I could. Um, you know, you lose cool points for that, right? Yeah. You want to cut it 14 and a half inches for seam allowances. Okay. Woo! 14 and a half though, right? 14 and a half. Oh! Yeah. Okay. So now this is a, no, this is not squared up. Nope, so, so these rotate two. it 180 degrees. Alright. Yeah. And you're going to square that bottom edge. Which is this one? Honestly, it doesn't matter what like line you line it up with. It's this edge. You can tell because you have all those sprays. Okay. So you're going to line up, you know that you created a nice perfect line. flat line. So you're going to line uh -huh. it up with that nice perfect flat cut edge that you created and you're just going to So I'm using my ruler it. lines on this. You're using your ruler lines on this. Okay. Flat earth theory guys. I mean this is probably slightly unnecessary but it's my quilting roots that make me make you do this. Oh, oh look at that. Good job. And that's it. Okay so let's cut one last thing. Okay. We need our side pieces. I need like Epic sword sounds. 
It's much easier to see your lines on top of your fabric than underneath. Mm -hmm. Look at that, I'm doing ambidextrous shit. Are you just cut left handed? Yeah. Good job. You start training yourself so at the beginning. So coordinated. So co coordinated. I find it very useful to mm -hmm. be ambidextrous in my cutting. I'm just going to go ahead and guess and say that if you are male cutting things, you will use more rotary blades and more cutting mats because you just have more force. And so you will be cutting into your mat Something deeper. Else. I'm ready to kill this fabric. So it's already dead, babe. You know, I you know, I was going to make a joke about you know being able to do other things with left left hand. No. <laughs> All right. Now what? Now we need our sewing machine. Oh, okay. Cut it out. Normally, I'm only doing video cutting. Ah, puns. Okay. I have you threaded with black thread, so you're good to go there. Um, you are going to take and sew your two pieces of fabric together. This, yes. These two. So seam it at the bottom. Yours is directional, so it's worthwhile. You'll put right sides together. you got to get in and see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. So right sides the, together. Right, right sides. Right sides together. That's what I say. All right. So does that look normal? Yes. So just line up the edge of your fabric with the edge of your presser foot and you're gonna seam this whole length of this short edge, backstitch when you start and backstitch when you stop. Oh, I just have to hold that? Yep. Bear snips. Cause you're a bear. Cause, cause I'm a bear. <laughs> Rawr. Awesome. Well that looks terrible on that side, but on this side it looks cool. <laughs> there we go. So you sewed all the way across last time. You want to sew that same distance from the okay, edge. Okay, so this is where... you're going to sew about like an inch and a half in yeah, yeah. and about an inch and a half in. You've got big hands, so if you're going to err on the side of anything, make it small. Okay, so we're sewing here and here because yes. this is where the pocket's going to be. Exactly. Okay. I can sew anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it makes me laugh when I hold the camera because it makes it shake. <laughs> okay. So, let's go all the way over. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. All right, hold it, hold it up here. Um, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Bear snips. Okay. The dangly bits off. I gotta cut the dangly bits off with my little bear snips. I don't think a lot of bears would want you to cut their dangly bits off. Ooh. All right. Okay. Yep. Look at you knowing what the cotton setting is. I just pay attention to my wife. <laughs> I'll try not to remember that you said that. I know, right? Especially, if, you know, if we don't have it on camera or anything. Right. Look at the bunny. All right, all right. I just need to flatten this out, right? Start by finding it out, yes. Alrighty. Does it ever bother you that you have a, so much stuff in like a, such a small little area? I manage with it. Okay. I feel like a um, seven year old girl that's been homeschooled her whole life already knows how to like do this in her sleep. Babe, this keeps getting in my camera shot. Hold it, well don't do it. <laughs> All right, now what? Now you're gonna press that pocket seam open. Okay. So open up the hole of the material. That's your pocket. Ah, that's my hole. Open this up here, like this. Open that. Okay. There you go. And then you're gonna press this seam open. Like that. Okay. Never mind. You could rip it and re sew it with a wider seam. There you go. Oh yeah. Rock on. Oh. Not quite rock on. Shh, won't tell. Okay. Okay, so now you're gonna go and stitch just through these two layers, but you're gonna stitch right along that edge. But only on the hold white. Hold that down, only on the white. Okay. This part always freaked me out when you do it. Cause it's just like, I can't keep up. So that center line on your foot is where your needle is. Okay. 
So if you keep the fold of your fabric just to the left of that center line, then you'll be golden. Just to the left or the to the fold. right? My right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. My left. There you go. Back okay. stitch when you start and stop. Okay. Yours being a little bit bigger, that is probably making that a little easier. Look at me go. There you go. So now turn it right side out. Now we're going to create the pocket for the nose bridge. So you're going to fold that top edge down wide enough for your nose bridge piece. So it has to be at least this wide plus a little. So you have enough room to slide that in. So you're going to come and stitch all the way along. Now you want that to fold under. You're going to stitch all the way across this. Oh, that's going to, you can't do that. I was Just wrong. take it out, take it out of the, the thing. Turn off, turn this off. So, uh, okay, to the, okay, yep. Okay. Bear snips. Okay, there you go. Look at that. I got the pocket. Two fingers in there. Ooh. Okay, so turn it wrong side out. Why? Okay. Yes and no. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Nope, still don't get it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now fold your mask in half. Which way? It doesn't matter. Oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're meaning which side? This way? Yes. Like that? Mm hmm And press. Okay. You're looking for creases right now. Oh, uh, okay. You know, you'd think that I would remember more of these steps considering I've edited hours worth of you doing masks. Grab your water spritz bottle and spray with water now. I make things wet. Goodness. Okay. Is that good enough? There's still yeah. a lot of... Now, I'm going to fold into here, correct? Yeah. Okay. And yours is much longer, so we're going to have to do this more times, but yes. Okay. But now I'm pressing just the edges here. Correct. Okay. You can buy this iron. What's the website? If you want a fancy iron like this one, you can buy one at quiltcorneronline.com, which is online. So now we need to put some extra creases in here. So I'm going to line up that crease that you just created uh -huh. with your center crease, mm -hmm. and you're going to add another crease here. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. We're, we're just guessing here, guys. We might totally press all of these creases out and redo it. So how many creases? So this is, I don't know, math. So, so two let's and add one more down here. Whoa. Okay. Okay. And again, just pressing the edges. Just the tip, right? Okay. Okay. Check it out, though. So, we you can kind of you see them better over here. Yeah. But I got so many creases. So now what I need to do? So now let's just start at the bottom and work our way up. You're gonna fold that over and let's put a pin on either side for you. Also, you'll need pins, as we later found out. Because I'm incompetent, I need pins to hold things down. Okay. So we're folding that up about... How long? Wait, yeah, wait. about a half of an inch. And then you're going to put a pin here. And actually, if you can put your pin going the other direction, it will make your job easier well, down the road. Wait, like, uh, this way? Mm-hmm. I know your giant hands were made for this. <laughs> And this week's episode of... So you're going to need to start further in and have it come out. Oh, that's there. what she said. <laughs> there you go. Uh, coming out where? Closer to the end. Like about where you went in the first time. <laughs> <laughs> now you're doing it. How the fuck? <laughs> and you, you put it... <laughs> put it... Thank <laughs> you. This video is going to get zero views. <laughs> Holy you put fuck. it back in. Yes. 
This is what I have to do. <laughs> no, repeat that on the other side. All right. Would you like to sit down? Do you know I need to get you some whiskey? Ooh. You know, that does make pinning things a lot easier. You have all that experience with your voodoo dolls or something? <laughs> I only practice voodoo with bourbon. I am not sure how you do this, and I'm getting super nervous being close to a hot iron. Would you like me to do all your pleats for you now that you understand oh my the gosh. process? Oh, <laughs> Struggle! I mean, it really will take you 20 minutes to do this. And it will take you like two. We yeah. We already talked about this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pretend that I've done all of this. What? You already got... <laughs> I wasn't even looking. You got two of them done already. You've been doing this like nonstop though. I, mean, I literally this life. this would <laughs> literally take me half an hour to get where you are right now. Look at this, Nothing two more. seconds. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to cut your side pieces longer. Just letting you know. What? No, I already cut them. <laughs> we're gonna have to cut you longer ones. That's what I'm saying. Why? Because you've have... got a big dick, babe. <laughs> <laughs> If you've had bad audio, it's because that got turned upside down. In this week's episode of Husband Learns How to Sew, he still needs help from his wife. <laughs> I've been cutting these side pieces this size all week, which definitely this, I'm not going to be able to make it fit into that length and still have enough like ability to stretch it around your nose. Okay. Okay. So these side pieces are what's gonna cover all these raw edges. We had initially cut ours four inches, but once we put in even like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pleats, which I can't really easily fit more than seven pleats in this. Once we put seven pleats in there, it's still longer than that four inches, and this has to be folded under on either side um, to keep those raw edges from being exposed. So, so there's no way for us to make this fit this. So basically, guys, some of these measurements are going to be customizable for you. The best thing to do is once you get to the part where you pleat, then measure that and add a couple inches. How much do you think? Um, add yourself one inch for seam allowances. Add, add yourself an inch to your folded pleated face mask like main part and then cut strips that are three inches wide, four inches wide? Three inches wide. Three inches wide by however long that your face mask is, plus an inch, and that's how long you need to cut your side pieces. So for us, our, we ended up with about six inches. Um, that's six because and six and a half. Ah. So for us, we ended up with six and a half inches for both of our side pieces, which is pretty cool. Gotta hand it to you. Because once we put in our pleats, this measured five, five, and, a uh, five and a half inches. Um, keep in mind, this length can go up to 14 inches, and we have it folded over. You really won't know this for you until you measure and get to this step. So as much as it sucks to not cut everything all at once, you should probably cut this, and get to this step, and then measure out your side pieces. It even looks like I didn't do it. They're not perfectly even. It's like not going to show. I'm not perfect. I'm tired of you complaining about things that only you notice. Now what do I need to do? Press the short edge under by approximately a half to a quarter of an inch. Okay. Like that? Yes. You'll do that on all four short edges. So actually what you want to do is... Hold up. Okay. Line that up at the bottom there, and you want this folded over so that it's approximately the same width as your mask. And that uh, is. Oh, move your fingers. This way. 
hot dog style, right? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's right at... The hip bone? The, the skull, babe. Nobody cares about the hip bone. Unless you're freaking 80 and got yours replaced. Is it okay that that's fucked up? <laughs> yeah. There's some grace here. Now we're going to take these to our sewing machine. Everything? Not your iron. Oh. Well, I'm done ironing. Well, am I done ironing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're going to line up this top edge and these raw edges. And well, actually, you're going to line it up at the bottom here. So you're going to line up the bottom edge and these raw edges. You're going to stitch about a quarter of an inch here. You will remove your pin before you get to it. We're going to change your machine to stop with the needle in the down position. When your needle stops down, it keeps your fabric from coming out from under your needle so you don't end up with a long stitch. Sorry guys for the terrible audio. <laughs> so good. once you get to this last one, before you sew over it, stop and push that fabric underneath so that that lines up. Okay. You're right, getting I... off your fabric there, babe. What? Your seam allowance oh. is changing. Fuck. Okay. Check it out. Okay. <laughs> I got it, and that's what counts. Actually, we do need to take that out and redo it. Why can't, you, why can't you just redo it? I think you could just redo it. Okay. Why can't, can't you just, why can't you just, uh, I mean, well, let's go over it again. Okay. Right? Sure. Yeah. We just need to do like a little. Okay. Isn't that right? So, apparently, because this is not sewed on right, we need to take this whole thing out again. No, not the whole thing, thing. just the first inch. Just first inch. Or we could just go over it again, which is what we're going to do. <laughs> right? Mm hmm Here's how it should be done. So now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And by we, I mean Jordan. <laughs> I just, I just want to point this out. Um, mm -hmm. So, this is mine. You can see <laughs> I did a great job and everything sewed together. And this is Jordan's. <laughs> That's all. Okay, okay. So now, so these are the backs and we're going to flip out our fold here. Our side piece. Side yep. piece on both sides. Yep. Okay. And then you're gonna just do one side for now, actually. Didn't I need to put the nose bridge in? <gasps> so you're supposed to have a nose piece in, and we got ahead of ourselves. This mask is only taking two hours to make. <laughs> so. And normally, Jordan could do like 40 of them in that time. I just opened up that little seam at the top. We're gonna slide our nose bridge into that and then I'm going to seam that closed real quick. So now we have our nose piece in with a little foldy bendy thing and then we have our seams. Guess which one is mine? <laughs> now what do we do? Now you're going to flip this out. Okay. Lay your tie mm -hmm. right in there. Yep. Fold this over and stitch along the edge of that fold. Cool. You could put a zipper foot on for this, depending on the cording that you're using. Or you could go with no foot and yellow. Would you like for me to do the other side, or do you want? Yes. To? Let's get this over with. <laughs> 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 I don't know why it's because of, look at this. Look at my. <laughs> this is how far my fingers can get into the little you slots think here. Making that motion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. See, see if you can beat that. I mean, do it. 
<laughs> You're gonna have my side and your side see if you can do any better. I've only, this is literally my job at the shop. Do they work for you? How do they work for you? That's bull. It's not the prettiest, but it's not gonna come out now at least. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have a face mask that's ginormous for me. Gangsta, gangsta. <laughs> cover your whole face. You. Wait, no, but <laughs> does it cover your eyes? If you want <laughs> this is what you would wear to rob a bank. <laughs> it's just a little big glove. <laughs> All right, guys, so I have completed with very little help from Jordan. Two seams, that's not two, bad. Two seams. And I, to be fair, I could have done everything. We just didn't want to be here all night. <laughs> I've taken two hours to make this, but I've made it, and it's my first one, and I am proud of it. And I can clearly see where I fucked up earlier, <laughs> which adds to the character of it, which is pretty great. So, yeah, let's try it on. This is my beard... Mask. <laughs> I actually think I got most of it in there. Yeah. I feel like some of it's coming out the sides. Yeah, I mean it could be a little bit wider, but honestly I don't know. If it's necessary? Yeah. Okay. It's covering my nose guard. Yeah. So the main thing is like very little of your beard is exposed, so if does, someone does sneeze on you, then it's not the end of the world. Oh, and look at those boots tucked up under. Yeah. Can you see? I can. I mean, at this point, these are just sideburns, which are yeah. going to be exposed for normal stuff. Check it out. How do I look, babe? You look super hardcore. You've got a skull centered right in the middle of the mask. Are you actually. kidding? That's fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. brutal. There you go. All right, guys. This has been Kachi Vachi. I'm Jared, and she's Jordan. We <laughs> flipped to bring you a beard mask because even I, with my giant fat fingers, <laughs> and am able to sew a mask for myself. In these crazy, crazy times, it is recommended that everybody wear a mask when they go outside. And this is a way that you can wear protective gear to stay safe and not have to shave, which is a bonus. <laughs> uh, we have all sorts of other videos linked below. We've done a couple other uh, face mask videos. If this wasn't what you're looking for, or if you want to make them for hospitals, or if you want to make masks for your know, friends and family, those are kind of different masks. Um, so I definitely check that out. There is a link below to all of our face mask videos. And by the way, guys, this does have a pocket. So take advantage of that. Put in coffee filter, napkins, whatever sort of filter that you can. Um, put it in here when you go out and then you can take the filter out and then just throw this in the washing machine to wash. We really appreciate you guys. Please share this with any of your bearded or crafty friends. Uh, we'd really appreciate that and subscribe because we're going to be putting out a lot more content because we're quarantined and have nothing else to do. So join us as we entertain and hopefully educate you guys on different sort of crafting stuff. We'd appreciate your subscription and hitting the bell icon and liking and all that jazz. Comment below and tell us what you're working on during quarantine. We'd love to see it. And send us pictures on Instagram of your face mask. It's probably not going to be as cool as this one, but we'd still love to see it. Follow us on Instagram at Kajivachi. And stay safe and happy sewing, guys.